So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You wanna repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to be saying that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options, which will now take us to here. Now once we're here, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. If you don't see command prompt in this list, you want to click on see more recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you want to click on command prompt, and now this will come up. And now once we're on this, you wanna type in boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys and then click on enter. And now you wanna type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot and then click on enter again. Now you wanna type in boot rec space forward slash fix mbr, click on enter. And now you wanna type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and i click on enter again wait for this to load and now once that's been done for the last one you want to type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash f space full slash r if your windows drive letter is not c colon then you can change it to that but for me and for most of you guys it's also going to be c colon for you so now you want to click on enter it's now going to start running this final scan wait for this to load I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, for the last step, we're just going to close out of this. Now you want to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.